Hey, it's me again. I'm back. Wanted to uh, talk to you guys about Young Living and Seed to Seal and what sets our company apart, what makes it different from the rest. Um, because I believe we have no competition, that really there are no other um, oils that compare to Young Living's and this is why I think that. So, um, so yeah, so basically how this whole Facebook Live started is um, I've had a few people reach out to me saying that there's other companies that are advertising to them on Facebook, targeting them on Facebook, saying our oils are better than Young Living and they're cheaper, you need to switch to ours. And so they've reached out to me and say, how do you, how do you respond to that? And is it true? And so um, I am just gonna literally like read you point by point and I'll throw in some extras. Um, but how I answered that the question when I received it today, I've received it a few other times, but today I just felt like, you know what, this is um, becoming a question that we're getting asked more and more often. And so I just wanted to write out right away, just throw that out there and um, answer that question. And so one of the things that they're advertising is that our prices are higher because we are a multi-level marketing company. And whether or not that's true, honestly, I don't know <laughs> if I'm completely honest, but I will tell you why I believe that multi-level marketing is absolutely the best for selling essential oils. And uh, the reason I think that is, um, so hold on a second, I, I'm kind of going out of order what I chose, but all right, so let's just say that a person went into a store to buy oils. There's two oils in front of them, two lavender oils. One is $5 and one is $20. This person's never had any education. We know that at stores, you go in, you buy your product, nobody teaches you anything. So you, they go in, there's a $5 oil, there's a $20 oil, which one are they gonna buy? They both say, actually one might not even say organic because it's way above organic. The other one said it's not had um, chemicals on the land for like 50 plus years. And then the other one is labeled organic, which means no chemicals on the land for three plus years. And the organic one is $5. Which one are they gonna choose? They're gonna choose the cheaper one. And they're gonna get it home and are they gonna know how to use that oil? So the first thing that they have to know is, is that there's multiple different lavender plants and not all of them are therapeutic. So if somebody goes into a store and they don't know which one to buy and they don't know that some lavender plants are not therapeutic, they're not gonna know to look at the scientific name, right? And so they buy the one that's not therapeutic and they wonder why it's not helping. The other thing is, is when they do get it, they get home and they don't know how to use it because they bought it in a store. So the reason I think that essential oils should be sold through multi-level marketing is because with multi-level marketing, we teach the people how to use it. These oils are far too precious <laughs> to sit on somebody's shelf not getting used. And so for somebody to buy them and take them home and have them sitting on their shelf and not know how to use them, like that is tragic. So with multi-level marketing, we can teach them. We can teach them how to get the best. We can teach them how to get the results and how to protect themselves from oils that are adulterated and extended and are frankly dangerous. So um, that's the first thing because I know a lot of these ads are saying that multi-level marketing is one of the problems. So I just wanted to address that up front. So now uh, we're gonna go back to the question. When companies say our oils are just as high quality as Young Living and they're cheaper because we're not multi-level marketing, you should buy from us. So these are like a few questions that you might want to think about. You might want to ask. I know I'm speaking to the choir here because I'm speaking to Young Living just, you know, members. But when people ask you, we need to know how to respond. And the first thing I'm going to tell you is Young Living is a company of integrity we never bash other companies. There's a reason why I'm not naming names right now. 
I don't do that. Um, I don't name names. I don't name other companies. Like if somebody's greenwashing, I just say, look for, you know, look, look at the label, look for these dangers. I don't name the names of the companies. This, we are a company of integrity and we don't need to do that. So the first thing I would say is Young Living doesn't have to compare themselves to anyone else. You won't hear us saying, oh, we're better than this company or, oh, we're better than that company. But isn't it interesting that other companies always choose Young Living to, pay, to compare themselves to? We're better than Young Living. Um, I think that says something for itself. If Young Living doesn't have to compare themselves and other companies do, are other, co are other companies comparing themselves to that company? Something to think about. All right, number two. Would a company of integrity and a company of quality need to advertise or need to advertise to users of other companies and give a chart on their website of what oil compares to what Young Living product. Some of these companies, if you go to their website, they have charts and it'll say Thieves, this is our equivalent. Valor, this is our equivalent. Breathe Again, this is our equivalent. Young Living doesn't need to do that. And the question is, is one, why do you need to do that? And two, why would you do that? Is that really integrity? Um, I like to ask things in question form. It gets people thinking without pushing something on them. So those are questions to think about. Um, Gary, our founder, spent decades traveling the world. He traveled the world he risked his life to find plants. He actually like found and gave the scientific name for multiple plants. Years, decades, looking, searching, researching, spending time with the scientists, learning from the best. Has the other company done that? Or are they writing off the coattails of Gary? So ask yourself and do the research. Has the company that's advertising that says that they're better, have they really done the research? Have they really invested the time? Have they done the things to show you that they care? Like Gary has. I mean, he risked his life. His words, for God's children. He was willing to put himself out there for God's children. Um, so there's a lot of companies out there that are writing out the coattail. Like they're just all the things that Gary did, they're trying to take that to their benefit. Um, number four, uh, look at how long the people that run those companies have been using oil. So the one that people keep reaching out to me over and over about here lately, uh, I went to their website and it said the founders or the CEO has been using oils for 10 years but their oils are better and more quality than Young Living. So um, the question I have then is, is using essential oils for 10 years, or whatever the other companies have been using it for, is using essential oils for 10 years enough time to have the knowledge to ensure that your farmers, your distillers, your scientists, etc., are doing it right? Because if you've only been using it for 10 years, I mean, that gives you a certain amount of time to research, but we hire people who are experts, but we still have to have some knowledge to make sure they're doing it right. So you decide if 10 years is enough to do that. Number five, certified organic only requires land to be free from chemicals for three years. They also have a list, so the USDA has a list of chemicals that are permitted on the crops. Did you know that? Um, so Young Living, uh, our farms have not had chemicals for like 50 plus years. And we are far above and beyond organic. And so um, that is something to look at. Number six. Oh, this is a big one. It's a big one. At what time of day are the crops harvested? So uh, just an example is Lang Lang. Do a Google search on Gary Young and Lang Lang. 
there'll be a YouTube video that pops up and I challenge you to watch it. Um, so I'm just using Lang Lang as an example because there's a video for that one. Um, I've been to the farms, I've seen this for many other uh, oils as well. But Lang Lang, so yeah, Young Living, first of all, we have um, machines um, that are hooked up to the plants that show us every minute, every hour, every day of the year, like when is the best, the optimal time to harvest that plant. And for each plant it's different. And for Lang Lang, the optimal time is in the middle of the night and the wee early morning hours. So all Young Living oils have to be distilled before 10 a.m. It's not that they have to, it's that Young Living sets that standard that we wanna give the best so we will not, not, not distilled, sorry, I messed up. I meant harvested. We want to give the best. So all of our Lang Lang is harvested before 10 a.m. to ensure that we're delivering quality oils that have the therapeutic properties at their optimal numbers. Are other companies doing that? Young Living, our Idaho balsam fir, we harvest that in January. Why do we harvest it in January? Because based on our research, with having um, these machines or whatever they are on the plants, we know that January is when the oil will be the best. And so we're out there with horses, many of the um, distributors are out there with, hor with horses harvesting these trees in the middle of the snow. It's cold in Idaho, lots of snow, and that's when we harvest. Yeah, it'd be easier to harvest in the summer like other companies, but we know the best time to harvest and that's when we do it. Okay, let's see. Another question to ask your company is, do they use municipal water on the crops? Young Living will not use uh, the municipal water supply because as we know, <laughs> the water supply uh, has things like pharmaceuticals and chemicals and different things like that in the municipal water. Young Living goes so far that they won't even use municipal water. And what that looked like, just to put kind of hands and feet on that, Gary Young in Canada, freezing temperatures, digging down, looking like to get well water so that our water would be healthy. Well water on land that had never had chemicals. Like that is the degree that we go. Our other companies going to that degree. Um, okay, let's see. Number eight. Do they have their own farms? So, do they have their own farms? I think it's interesting. Um, if you don't have your own farms, if you're not a farmer, and you're running an oil company, and you have partner farms, yeah, that's great. And you have oils that are in their natural habitat, yeah, that's great. But if you have no experience with farming, then how do you know that your farmers are doing it right? How do you know that they're distilling it at the right time? How do you know what the plants need themselves if you've not actually farmed the land, if you've not actually farmed? So Young Living has our own farms. We have that experience. We know that Melissa, which is a very delicate, um, just a delicate plant, one of the things that Young Living discovered is that the oils are not as good in Melissa plant, that the therapeutic properties of the oils are not as good in Melissa if Melissa touches the ground after it's harvested. So we don't even allow our Melissa plant to touch the ground after harvest because we want it to be at its optimal um, potential for helping the people. So the question is, is if you don't have your own farms and you've not had that experience, how do you make sure that the partner farms are doing it right? Just a question. All right, number nine. Um, compare the testing on the website. If you don't know, Young Living has a seed to seal website. Uh, you can go, it's uh, youngliving.com. Actually, just do a Google search, Young Living and Seed to Seal. That's probably the easiest way. Uh, the Young Living Seed to Seal website will come up. It shows testing that we do. It shares a little bit about our Seed to Seal process. Compare the testing from the two different labs. Uh, Young Living has state-of-the-art testing that we do. We have third-party testing. 
and um, it's incredible. And we have a research library, unlike, unmatched, because Gary's been doing this for so long. And yes, Gary passed away a few years ago, and he's not here anymore, but he's educated, like, um, our, our CEO, the people that are running this business have spent time with him. They have traveled with him. He has taught them. He has trained them. His kids are in this business. His wife still helps to run this business. And um, they have a lot of experience. And with Gary himself searching for, for flowers and plants and actually finding, identifying, and giving the scientific name for, I think there were like, I think he said four plants. I could be wrong, but I think there was um, multiple that he actually discovered and gave the scientific name for. We have a library just unmatched because of all these years of research. 10, Young Living has over 80 blends and even more singles. Can you imagine living, you know, without any single one of them? Some of those blends you can't, or some of the, the blends obviously you can't get from other companies, although they try to copy it. But the singles, because Gary's gone where nowhere else, no one else will go because it's dangerous, um, because he's done the research that no one else will do, we have plant, like we have oils that are pure that you can't get anywhere else. And I tell you what, those oils, each and every one of them are precious to me. They work in a way that um, they each have their own individual way that they work. And I wouldn't want to be without any one of them. And so, I don't know, we've, because we've been doing this for so many years, we can have that many singles and that many blends and still have them quality. Um, I don't know why you would, anyone would choose to uh, switch to a company that might have like, 10 blends that they like whipped up here in the last years. Um, but anyway, um, think about some of those single oils that you can't get anywhere else and would you ever want to be without them? Um, this list could go on and on. I'm serious. I've been to the farms. I've seen the degree that they go to. When I watch those farmers hand picking the weeds when I was in the farm, I've been to Utah, to the Mona farm. I've been to the Highland Flats farm um, in Idaho. I've been to the Ecuador farm. And I can tell you when I watch those farmers hand picking or hand weeding and out there distilling, you know, pulling the, the Lang Lang flowers off, looking at them to make sure it has the little red dot in there, which tells you it's time to harvest, but um, not over, over ready. Um, when I see them doing these things, and then you see an oil, you see how much it takes to make a little bottle of oil, and then you see an oil bottle that's $5, there's no way. There's no way that somebody is going to that extreme to make pure oils and is able to sell them for five bucks. No way. Um, so, I just want to tell you um, in case you have people that are asking you or you're seeing these advertisements pop up, just remember we don't have to compare ourselves to anybody. There's nobody out there doing what we're doing. And um, these are just a few ways you can share my video or these are just a few ways that you can start your research because um, it's important that we empower ourselves and empower our people to know why we chose Young Living. I chose Young Living because of the integrity we are a company of integrity. We give back. And I um, have, have spent time with, uh, you know, a number of people in, in the corporate office of Young Living. And I've seen their integrity. I've seen the sacrifices that they've made um, to give us pure oils. And I trust that. I trust that. And um, that's why I chose Young Living, for the integrity and for the purity. Um, so uh, just something to think about. But anyway, um, the, I'm going to end this. Well, let me see. I think I see. Uh, I'm curious how many oils Young Living started out with over 25 plus years ago. They have so many amazing oils and products and just keep working to bring us more. You know what, Jenny? I, I don't know how many they started with. Um, Nancy or Vicky, I know Nancy's on here. Um, any of you guys that have gone to the farm, maybe you know. Uh, at the farm in Mona, they have a wall that has 
um, you know, the very first bottle of oil that he sold, it had like a hand written label and I mean, it's just, you know, the bare bones and they've just gradually, gradually built up as he's discovered plants. He's, he's, Gary followed hieroglyphics and whatnot to find plants, um, to help God's children. And so, um. Yeah, I just, I thought of another really big why Young Living, and now I'm totally blanking on it. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm so grateful to be a part of Young Living, and um, yeah. So, um, yes, visit the farm someday. It's amazing. Uh, first of all, go to convention this year. Obviously, it's not at the farm. It's at your house. Um, I am kind of looking at uh, hosting something at my house and having people over to watch it. Um, obviously, that will be limited. We have a we have a big team, but um, uh, hopefully there'll be a number of different groups doing in-house watching conventions. But um, I know my kids are going to want to be at this convention, and my husband, and so we'll all be watching convention and start there, then get to the farms, Utah. Uh, convention yearly is so helpful even if you're not doing the business um, so many of the classes are just on the products and to to see the farms there's the there's number 11 the question how many other companies have the transparency where they let you go out into the farms or the partner farms to see for yourself that you're getting what they say you're getting um, young living you can book an appointment you can go out to the farm anytime um, we are transparent. So get to the farm. Convention's a great time, but really you can book an appointment and go out anytime to the Mona Farm in Utah. The um, farm in Idaho is literally like 45 minutes to an hour. I can't remember, but it was like way up in a mountain. It took Gary a lot of time to find land that had never had chemicals. And so it's like, um, you're probably not going to just be in that area, <laughs> but you could drive there, you know, so, um, or do that. You can, anyone can participate in the harvest in January. So, um, that's really cool too. Otherwise, um, as you share with people, as you bless people with these products, uh, I know I wouldn't want to go a day or a week without my products. And I know the only reason I'm using them is because somebody cared enough to share them with me. So share with other people and the more people that you bless, um, the more you'll rank up. And when you get to silver, uh, Young Living will pay for you to go to the Mona farm and, you know, platinum or no gold would be the Idaho farm and platinum, the farm in Ecuador, you know, obviously they could change those. Um, sometimes it's the France farm. Sometimes it's the Canada farm, uh, the Hawaii farm. Uh, you never really know for sure because um, they could change it at any time, but um, that's a great way to, to go to the farms and to get tours and learn from the best. I tell you what, at convention, um, as a leader in Young Living, I want to make sure that what I'm telling people is true. And so every year when I go to convention, my kids are... My kids are screaming and wrestling in the background, so you might hear them wrestling back there. But I will tell you, every time I go to convention, I ask like every like all the workers that I see, whether they're workers at the farm, whether they're working in the distillery, um, how does Young Living treat you? Is it true the seed to seal? Like, um, really tell me like what extent do they go to? And um, because I want to know that I'm representing a company that, that is what they say they are. I want to know that I'm representing a company that treats its employees and people that they just come bring in for different events, that they're treating them well and treating them right. I want to know that we are delivering the best because I want to um, have my company represent like my individual family's business be known for excellence. And um, so we want to deliver the best and that's why we cho choose Young Living. So anyway... Um, yes, Jenny, uh, Gary, yeah, I, I, I love Gary and, um, yeah, I, uh, miss him very, very, very much. So, um, anyway, I, I wish, wish you all could have gotten to know him, um, and he's gone, but you can really get to know him. There's a lot of resources, um, 
that you can still see his heart um, videos and writings and things like that where you can still see his heart get the um, seed to seal book you can learn more about Gary let's see if I have quick access to that uh, no I don't have it anymore. Um, but it's the story of, of Young Living and Gary and it shows the extent that he went to I mean I don't if you have that if you had that book and you just held it out in front of the people who are like well our companies nobody can compete with that I have no doubt nobody can compete with what with that um, yeah but the thing is is maybe you can't meet Gary in person now but um, the more you stay connected with Young Living and especially if you experience the trips um, you can meet Jared and you can meet the corporate staff and you can meet Mary I had a friend that um, was on a Hawaii trip and ran into Mary at like Hallmark or I don't know if it's Hallmark or some gift store and Mary prayed over her and um, Jacob and Joseph their children um, they're still active in the company you can meet them and so um, stay active go to the events don't be afraid to talk to the people talk to the distributors talk to the people that work there and um, over time as you grow I, definitely you'll get more passionate the more time you spend at the Young Living Farms and definitely with the people um, you you will know Gary's heart because he very specifically picked the people that are working there and um, said that he he when he interviewed he picked for integrity and for their heart he wanted to know that people had the same heart that he did so um, that's something that we can be very confident in with Young Living so anyway thanks for joining me I know this got a little long but um, love you guys and um, yeah hopefully we'll get to see each other soon man this quarantine is uh, I miss you a lot I miss our, our classes I miss our groups and um, uh, definitely gonna miss convention this year but we will hopefully if the quarantine is lifted be able to um, have some little gatherings um, around uh, where we we can have little groups doing um, convention together so have a great one we'll talk to you later bye bye